Uh, Q&A time on the CEO podcast. This is from at Adultery77. That was a good year for adultery, 1977. What do you guys think about the PlayStation Classic using rearmed instead of their own home-baked, already developed, widely used solution? Big up to the um, emu community or big up yours? Wow. I like the emus. Um, I think it's, I mean, I... I think it's a pretty great acknowledgement of the fact that um, whether it's intended to or not, I think it's a great acknowledgement of how far the emulation community has come in terms of what they can do. Um, Obviously the fact that Sony feels that uh, rearmed is uh, good enough to be used on an official Sony project is, um, an incredible compliment to the people who have made it. I don't necessarily love that, you know, there's no recognition in it for them. It is, it was open source. Um, they can use it, you know, without paying. Um, I don't know when it, when it, I mean, just in terms of what it, what it means in terms of the quality of the work. And like I said, where emulation is right now, I think that's great. I think that says a lot. Uh, in terms of the murkier stuff, in terms of, you know, Sony not doing that legwork themselves, Sony not bringing someone on from that project and paying them, um, Sony, you know, not recognizing them, it, basically Sony not, I guess, pitching in, uh, that, that I don't, I don't like so much, but I do think it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's an incredible thing that well, you know, is it, is an it better, open source community. It's probably better yeah. than what they have in house, then, right? Oh, it has to be. Yes, it it's is. constantly being worked. What on. I'm they saying don't... is, though, the fact that they couldn't, you know, bring someone on from those projects and make them something, make them something extra versus you know, have them make an official uh, an official port of it or something, pay some pay them something for the work. Open source, you don't have to. Well, no, I'm like using it legally. I, if there's a commercial license, oh, I realize. I realize. I, mean, I know what you're saying, though. I, why, I realize. Why couldn't I, they have acknowledged it? More? Sure, acknowledge. Then again, it. it's their system going back. It is. So I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't have like a crazy strong not, opinion on this one way or another. I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, in Sony's corner in this, but it's like, well, you built an emulator based upon our intellectual property. Yeah. No, so. I, 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 don't have like a crazy strong feeling about it. I think it's cool that they're using one, and that the people who do this are putting out something better than what Sony even feels like they could do. Um, and I'm big on open source, but there are times I feel like where it would be nice for those people to get a little bit more recognition yeah. than not. I That's see, all. Let's see. Some commentator, some commentators have already attacked Sony for laziness by piggybacking off their off the work of the open source community rather than coding a new official. Em- why would you need a new official emulator though? Like, why would you need one unless you can do it better? Who says you can do it better? Maybe you can't right. do it better. You know, uh, Frank Cifaldi has sees the move as an acknowledgement that an amateur emulator can be just as valid as an official one. Of course. Yeah. And they're usually better. Yes. Yeah. They've been working on them for a long time. I mean, a, a, a NES emulators go back to, uh, what, like 94, 95? About? Yeah. Just about? NES. Do you think Nintendo worried about an NES emulator in 95 when they're, you know, ready to come out with the N64? Like, you think they would give a shit about that? It's, it's Without the amateurs, we wouldn't have this stuff. We wouldn't have this... How, how big retro games has become partially because of this. Um, so, yeah, I don't expect Sony to reinvent the wheel. It doesn't make any sense no. uh, to me. All right, so... All right, I'm not, I'm not faulting Sony for this. Their, their choice of games still is pretty shaky, though. Absolutely. 